Hi, I'm Caroline Milly Artis, and welcome to Keep Calm and Bake. Now, in this series, I'm going to be teaching you all sorts of goodies from donuts to chocolate brownies, so all your favourites. This episode is going to be how to make a blueberry layer cake. Firstly, we're going to make our cake batter, which is fairly easy. Now, I've got my self-raising flour. I'm going to sieve all the self-raising flour into a bowl first. And don't worry, we're going to have all the uh, list of ingredients written in the description box for you. Okay, so self-raising flour, a bit of baking powder going in, and a pinch of salt. So sieve all these ingredients together first. Sieving is done. Now we're going to beat the butter and sugar together. So butter going in and sugar. Now we want to beat these together until it's nice and fluffy. Okay, now uh, I'm just going to scrape down the butter on the side of the bowls. So keep doing that. I'm also going to add in some lemon zest and some lemon juice at this point. I'm going to add the juice of one lemon in now as well. So make sure there's no pips. You don't want any pips on your cake. I always put my hand there so it catches any pips before they go in. There we go. Let's put this on. Another few minutes. Lovely. That looks perfect. I'm going to add my eggs now. I'm going to add them just one at a time. So while the beater is going around slowly, you add in one egg, give it a good mix together until it's kind of nearly all incorporated, and then you can add the next one. One. I also like to add maybe a spoonful of the flour in at this stage just to start combining everything because there's a lot of eggs in this mixture. So a little bit of flour going in now. Next up is the sour cream. Actually if you don't have sour cream at home you can always use some plain natural yogurt. That's another kind of cheat that I do sometimes. So sour cream going in. Give these a good mix. Okay, great. Lovely. I'm going to scrape again. Scrape down the sides. So add the flour just a bit at a time. And we're going to put it on to mix slowly. Otherwise, it's going to fly at you. Skilled. There we go. So you can start adding everything in. Let it blend together. All right. Now, my cake mixture is looking nice and smooth, as you can see, and that's perfect. You don't want to overbeat it. So just do it so that all the lumps are out, it's smooth. We're going to actually fold the blueberries in at this stage. So fold the blueberries in. And because it's quite a thick cake batter, it means that the blueberries are not going to sink to the bottom of the pan of the cake when you cook them. All right, they're going to sit where they're supposed to. This is going to be a three-tier layer cake. So I've got three tins prepared. Obviously, if you just have two tins, you can make two if you want. But it's nice to have lots of layers. So using your spoon or a knife, very gently spread it evenly around. Right, so these can go straight into the oven. While your cake is baking, you can get on and make the icing. 
Uh, now this is going to be a cream cheese icing. So extra special cake. Cream cheese going into either a large bowl or you can pop it back into your cleaned up mixer. Don't put it into the dirty one. Now I've got icing sugar. I've sieved this already. So that's going to be mixed in. Whoa. This is where the cloud comes back in. You have to do this bit slowly. Okay. I'm going to actually mix half of it to begin with, otherwise it's just going to go everywhere. Now I've also got melted butter. So pour half of that in. And a touch of vanilla, about half a teaspoon. I'm just squirting it. Ooh, there we go. And a little bit more of uh, lemon zest as well, because it is a blueberry and lemon cake. So let's mix this all together. Start slowly and then add everything else in. Now add the rest of your butter. All right, once everything is mixed together, then it's ready to go onto your cake. To test if your cakes are done, use a skewer and then poke it in. If it comes out nice and clean, as in no kind of gunky bits on it, then your cake is ready. Or the other way, is if you push it down, it should spring back. So my cakes are ready. I'm gonna turn them out, leave them to cool on the wire rack, and then we can start icing the cake. Cakes have cooled. I'm very excited. We can start icing. So get your first cake and spread a, a layer of blueberry jam down. There we go. Nice layer jam. And now we're going to use a bit of your icing that we've made already. This has been chilling in the fridge, so it's a little bit hard. We don't want to use too much of the icing in the middle, but just enough to put one nice layer around. There we go. Right. Next layer going on top. There we go. Again, some more jam. Just a thin bit. And now another blob of icing. There we go. The top of the cake going on. See, this is a big cake. And now all we need to do is Using the rest of the icing, we're going to spread it on the top and all the way down the sides. Now, what you're going to do, make sure you just evenly spread down the icing so that all the cake is covered. Now the tricky part, I'm going to transfer it onto serving plate. Okay, for you. Now we're just going to finish this off. I saved over, I've saved some blueberries, so I didn't put them all into the cake. You have to keep a few back. I'm just going to dot mine around the top. And if you like what you've seen and you're a fan of baking, then hit subscribe because we have plenty more delicious recipes. So, blueberries, and you know what? I found a nice pretty flower. I'm just gonna put the flower in the middle. This is not edible though, you can't eat this bit. But you can buy nice edible flowers, so just decorate it however you like. And that is it. Now, now's the time where I have to cut into this beautiful cake, because I want to show you the layers. Okay, here goes. Mm. Wow. It really is a large cake. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I'm going to have to use the top of my finger. Wow. Okay, let's pop this over here. That is a mighty big piece of cake. <laughs> now for the, uh, the fun part of my job, I'm going to try this. Let's get a fork. I know this is a great, a great cake though. 
right. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm mm mm. Mm. It's really light and fluffy. And the blueberries, you get like a lovely hit of blueberry and then the lemon tanginess. Wow. This is a corker of a cake. Well, I hope you've all really enjoyed this recipe and see you all again very soon for more Keep Calm and Bake.